Arizona, Vietnam. Hey. <laughs> you wonder why we not hearing the Duke song today? You wonder why I have this hat on? This cool Arizona shirt? One more time now. This is a beautiful day. It really is. How are you doing? Really beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, you go ahead. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to downtown with our B. I'm R Dub. I'm Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Let's sound some sad, y'all. Yeah? Come on, man. I need your enthusiasm, y'all. Yeah. I need that swag on a million. <laughs> Let's do it. Come on. Because when there's downtime, there's nothing better to do than to talk sports. Than to talk sports. Okay. <laughs> of course, y'all know Arizona beat Duke. And they ain't just beat them. They stuffed the whole leg into their ass or whatever. But we'll get to that a little bit later. We yeah. have some other things we want to talk about. Other things. Other, other things, things that happen things. throughout the course of the week. Uh, first thing first, well, another one of your teams was struggling mightily, the, the NBA. The Knickerbockers. The Knickerbockers, huh? Uh, I mean... What's I, wrong, B? I told two you. Two superstars, man. Pro- it's not working. The problem is that you have two different you have two different styles of play. Okay. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, Mario Stoudemire, at first, you know, we had, we had everybody we before. Them. You know, we Galinati. had Phil, Gallinati, you know, everybody we, <laughs> It was a pick and roll game. Hey, Denver's It was a pick and roll game. Oh, I'm sure they are. Oh, it was a, wow. It was they a pick only and roll lost game. two games since the trade. It was a pick and roll game. Yeah. But then Carmelo was mostly just like, all right, he's like, he on, he on street with like, what's <laughs> the He's like, all right, go with yeah. it. Go with it. Go with it. Go with it. Just, just all, all, left elbow. All, all Carmelo, all Carmelo <laughs> needs is a bunch of rebounding. He, he needs a bunch of guys going to get rebounded. Right. And, and that's not the kind of game that Mario and I played. I know you before. don't. Uh, I, I kind of know where you can go with this answer, but I just have to ask you this. Should Dan Tony be fired after the season? Regardless of how y'all do in the playoffs. No. Should the clock be on Dan Tony between, I mean, between the rest of this season, the playoffs, and next season? Yeah. To turn them around. You think it so? It should be. I mean, okay. it's everything. I hate when people say this when they talk about the Redskins. They say it all, it all starts at the top and all that. Right. But it really does with the Knicks. <laughs> I mean, no. I mean, I say be back does. sometimes on anyway, man. Okay, so. cool. And, and, and you know, you know what we'll do? We'll go out and get like eighteen forwards that really can't do anything. We'll have one point guard. We'll have one point guard at eighteen forwards, and it's like college, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just, it's just. I mean, I, I hope that it, I hope it works. I'm willing to give it time because I said before. I said before. Give me, give, give me to next season. Okay. If you don't have it approved by next season, then you know what I mean. Then, then at, by that time, then I'm then I'm upset. But I, I see know. what the problem is now. <laughs> I see what the problem is. It's the fact that they this it's just two different things. Yeah. In other NBA news, my Mavericks have won their 50th game for the eleventh straight year. This time, though, we no sell it big time. You know? I mean, Dirk was saying this means absolutely nothing. To me, it's an it's an accomplishment. I mean, longevity. How many teams have won 50 games? For 11 straight years. You got San Antonio. Got the old Lakers with Magic. And that's it. But we do need a ring. Yeah. We, we and, definitely need one. But and, and I'm, 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 I'm content if we said. don't get one. Because I know that guy. He's not content though. I know he isn't. But I, I could never be mad at that dude, man. Because that dude, I told you, man. 100% every game. That's all I got from that dude. I understand. I mean, but see, there's, yeah. it's, I, mean I understand you're not being mad at him. But he's yeah. just letting you. He's letting like, you know, <laughs> no, look. He's not saying. the games don't mean nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because if you, think, if you think about the company you just put him in. Both of them teams came home with. The came ring, yeah. Jordan. Multiple ones. Too. You know what I mean? And base, ba- it's like basically what he got going is like a Donovan McNabb, Jim Kelly kind of thing. But even not even Jim Kelly because. He wasn't at the show that much. More so like a Don Van, you know what I'm saying? Like a uh, um I'm trying to think who else went to yeah. the Chevy Games a lot, but only hit it hit it once. Damn uh, you know? Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like you got you gotta do is just that were great, but they just never got But, but here's the thing about the NBA. Um and you know this. Great players don't win championships. They don't. I know that. Great teams do. I know. So I know. regardless, we we never had any other than starts. And Nash never played to this level that he played at Phoenix, so he's never actually had that type oh, of that team. Oh, that was such a mistake, man. Ah, 
Nah, I'm you couldn't have predict that, man. He, you, he, you could not have. Hey, hey, that, hey, look, man. hey, look, hey, look. Oh, oh, I, I, I seen Steve Nash. You're man. right. That you're dude, right. You're right. You can't but predict you, that. You're right. But what I'm saying is that when he left, it's not like it's not like he wasn't a baller for y'all. And the thing is, no, he was an all star point guard. But two times, the fact was y'all made. Fact, fact, fact was y'all made a mistake. And then I mean, honestly, getting that dude for him was just. And to me, I mean, he went to D'Antoni's system, which, which was perfect. Seven seconds of that, Sean. I mean, that, that allowed him to showcase yeah. exactly everything. He's he got Even though he played under Don Nelson, who kind of wanted quick shots as well, but still. It was just perfect. Yeah, he didn't just, just give him So, a yeah. Uh, any other news, Bernard? Um, what else we got? Outside of that, we got... I mean, a whole, a whole bunch of, like, celebrity trouble. Uh, but, yeah. not, but not really... We got, we got a little football. Lawrence Taylor got what, oh, okay. six years Lawrence Taylor. Six years uh, old. Age. Been with a prostitute? <laughs> Underage, yeah. Under, yeah, she was 16. <laughs> you see her picture? I did. Yeah, I saw her picture. I clicked on her. Does she look 16? I put it this Could way. Could a mistake be made? Because, <laughs> uh, I mean, if you order a prostitute, hey, you, you're hey, not, hey, like what hey, LT said, you're not going to call her. Hey, look, let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. There's a part of you that will look at her and be like, oh, yeah, she might be young. Yeah. But the thing is, I guess if you see her and if she's done up a certain way, and she comes to a dude, and dude already like, all right, I'm expecting you to be older. You know what I'm saying? She could have hit him with like, yeah, I'm 18, and he would have copped the 18. He, he I, said, I mean, she said she was 19. Yeah, hey, you you would cop the 19. Okay. You, I mean, honestly, you could have cop. I mean, you you can say she's 16 looking, but if she says she's 19, you could cop to her honestly. The red you know flag. You know the red flag for me. If, was the black guy. The black guy. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. but. No. That's not what I'm ordering. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm sorry. That's if I'm Lord I'm, I'm me. If I'm Lord Sam, I'm getting top dollar. <laughs> but I'm, I'm me, and right. I'm not ordering a black guy. So that that that's just <laughs> like my money ain't Lord Sam's money. But I only know. Yeah, you yeah. right, man. Because I'm sorry. If, if I got Lord Sam's money, I got movie money. I got football money. I got. I'm. I done bought keys of coke, son. I mean, I got bread. Can mm -hmm. you tell me I'm gonna get some old thirty 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 five? Speaking of LT, how how is it that he? Made it through the NFL unscathed, but they, Dexter Manley got suspended a couple of times. Explain that to me. Dexter Dunn, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and, I mean, I, I, I ain't saying dumb like in the brain, but he just got caught. Cool. Let me let me all, all, in, in all honesty, in all honesty, Lord Taylor probably, Lord Taylor probably had somebody let him know when he had his test. He probably had his fitness <laughs> ready. Dexter probably when that jump was like this. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Lord Taylor, like that joint. He, I mean, that's the. He probably just got caught. I mean, that's the. All you gotta do is get caught once. I actually, caught three times. But you know what I'm saying? You that's know. what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. He, it was so bad. Gibbs had it. You know, he wasn't that smart. Team, I mean, man. but I mean, that's the. He he was just reckless. Uh, yeah. He was just reckless. But Lord, Lord, it's like Lawrence Lord, Taylor kind of Charlie Sheen with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like. He got the Charlie Sheen with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, with like, he can operate, but he got caught. Yeah, You know yeah. what I'm saying? But except, but then Charlie Sheen turned into Dexter Manley in a way. You know what I'm saying? Nah, let's talk a little bit of Charlie Sheen. Um, yeah, I'll be at it. We can do that. Yeah. We can do that. Matter of fact, we could, uh, I'm, I'm not sure how long we've been on this segment here. Mm, I think we still got a couple more minutes. All right, let's rock think so? Let's rock it. A little rock. bit. Yeah. Charlie Sheen. So, um, I really don't understand. <laughs> how, how, how it is that if I were a gentleman and I was, say, in my car or, say, I had a job and I was suspected of using drugs, if you could have all signs point to me having drugs, I never get, I don't get arrested, I don't go to jail, I don't see any court time, I don't have anybody kicking my door down, I don't have anybody pulling me over all the time, I could be in the public eye. Okay. I can even have a custody battle at the same time. Now, granted, I've never failed any tests with all science points. That, that's the, that's and, the shocking thing. And, he hasn't and, failed any tests. And the hilarious, thing, test. the hilarious thing is that they want to give his job back. Yeah. He's the show. Dude, it's, That show was drawing. And you know how much that show would draw now? Like, I never yeah, watched two and a half men before. I, I won't watch it now because I've seen it before. I've seen it before. I watched it. I watched it. I will watch it, I watch it, I, I watch it yo. I can't. I can't because one, <laughs> when you see him now, like I watched, oh, okay. movie, I watched this movie The Wraith the other day at yeah. work. <laughs> the other day, and it was Charlie Sheen back in the day. I think yeah. Charlie Sheen in Major League. That dude, if he was getting hot in, he was cool hot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He wasn't like rehab hot. You know what I'm saying? Cool hot, rehab hot, two different things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Snoop's still a cool hot. If Snoop gonna go bad, it's gonna be rehab hot. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. 
thing is, like, it all depends on how far you go I, with it. I think this is the first time in history we've seen someone who came out looking better on the opposite side of a self-destruction. You know? And that's America. Because Britney Spears and all the others who self-destruction. You're right. <laughs> that dude... Hey, in hindsight, he really is winning. Yeah, but you know, I mean, he, he is. But at the same time, is it a miracle? I mean, is it a miracle? Or is it kind of bad? I mean, because in a way, it's like I mean, what are you? T it's like we, I, I, we, we sit and we talk about this new generation. But what are we telling them when okay. we say Slim? You got your Jersey Shores. You got reality shows. But basically, back in the day, if celebrities got in trouble, it was kind of like wow, you know what I mean? This dude got in trouble. All right, y'all, let's think about some things. But now it's like, hey. If you if you a teenager and you ain't got nothing to do for the next couple months, come on to this house, get drunk, have all the sex you want, and just act up. Cause you can be a celebrity, you get paid fifteen grand to do it. <laughs> all right, let me ask you this: Over and under two years of living for Charlie Shane. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, he ain't finna die. <laughs> because honestly, I, I, I really don't say about that. He ain't about that. So he's not on the wanted. Nope, not yet. Jeff Hardy yeah, mission. He handled Jeff Hardy. <laughs> okay, that's Jeff, <laughs> Jeff Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Hardy watched Do we have enough for Chris Brown? No. Um, oh, you want to go ahead? We, you know what? Let's 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 go ahead. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead. Right. If, if not, if not, if, I, I if, really if want not, to discuss a little bit of Chris Brown. Anyway. All right. Okay. Okay. I'll let this thing. If not, I'll just edit it so we can flow into it. Okay. Something like that. But we, uh, got, we got Chris Brown, man. First of all, uh, everybody. All right, okay. We got to tell the Chris Brown. For those of you who don't know, tell the Chris Brown story. Okay. Uh, he went to Good Morning America. Robin uh, Roberts. Robin Roberts. Robin Roberts. Robin <laughs> Roberts. <laughs> ask him a couple of questions. She let questions. him know that she was going to ask a couple of questions. And he asked the questions. But it's not so much that he, the, what he asked, it was the random, what he did afterwards. He goes back into and throws a hissy fit about being asked the questions. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, to me, it makes me question his handlers and, right. and himself. You know, he got it. You gotta expect that in this line, like life that you want to live, that that question about Rihanna is always so going to come up. Life, that that's the that's the price. I mean, what unless you want to move away from celebrity, mm -hmm. that's the price you're gonna get. Michael Vick is still asking questions about dogs. Right. I mean, it's, I mean, it's it's it's. I, I'm not even gonna say it's unfortunate for him, for real. Yeah. Because I mean, he did what he did. That's the price you pay. You know what I'm saying? He did. He knows that he he did what he did. <laughs> and, you know what I mean? And it's just if you've ever seen something like that, you know what yeah. I mean? In life, when you see it, you know what I mean? Now we we've had we we had this conversation. Matter of fact. Matter of fact, we're going to take this to the next segment. We're going to take this to the next segment. Okay, let's, let's take this to the next segment. segment. All right, All right come that's back. how it all be. Yep. Come back segment two. We're going to talk Chris Brown, Tiger Woods, and when and where oh, you should wow. be, and when and where you should be able to hit a female. Oh, right, oh, 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 o